Hey shooters, out here on the range again, working on another set of fundamentals. Ways to, for me to impart to you some of the things I've learned over the years and some of that many instructors offer you. But I'm going to not give you necessarily my take, but I'll give you my um, understanding of various elements of fundamentals of marksmanship. Now, in other videos we've covered grip and we've covered uh, stance to some degree, I believe, and uh, trigger control. Let's talk about sights. How, not so much how to read them, but how to recognize what you need for the shot you're going to take. Ten yards down range. Okay, maybe nine and a half. I have a paper target, and I've got my Les Bear 45. Standard notch and post sights. So here's the drill. Here's what I'm going to do, and I'll give you a little visual to go along with that. I'm going to start with normal level square sights. Pointing at the center of the target, I'm going to break two shots. Then I'm going to raise, leave the front sight attached to those holes. In other words, that front sight and during this whole drill is never going to leave contact, visual contact, with those holes. And then I'm going to lower the rear sight. In other words, I'm going to tilt. This is a hinge now attached to the target. I'm going to lower the rear sight down until the very bottom of that sight, maybe even part of the slide, is at or above the rear sight. What will happen? Shots will go high. How high? is what the drill is about. Then I'm going to leave that front sight attached and I'm going to go back up to level and then I'm going to raise the rear sight up until all I can see is barely the tip of the front sight in the very bottom of the notch. Where's the bullet going to go? Low. Windage shouldn't vary, only elevation will. And if you do this at home on your own target, do it at 7 yards, 10 yards, 12 yards, 15 yards, it'll give you an idea. All you've got to look for on so many of our targets, not little round steels, but so many of our paper targets, that you can just watch the front sight wiggle up and down within the confines of the goal posts and the confines of the rear notch. And if, the front, if you see any front sight, rather if you don't see the slide, if you see any front sight in your notch and you're breaking shots, those shots are going within that zone. And the zone is what you're going to determine by shooting two shots each, set, normal sights, two shots with the front sight at the very bottom of the rear sight, and two shots with the front sight as high as you can get it in the rear notch. I'll do that for you right now. Freedom Munitions Hush Ammunition, my favorite. And we'll just do it one-handed so, so you can kind of get a chance to see the gun. So I'm going to break one shot right in the middle of the target, and I'm going to try and hit that hole with the next shot. Now I'm going to leave that front sight attached to that hole. And then I'm going to lower the rear sight until the whole front sight is sticking up out of the, out of the rear notch, including part of the slide. And I'll do another one exactly the same way. Front sight is attached to the hole. Now the front sight will attach, stay attached to the center set of two. And then I'm going to raise the rear sight up until I can barely see it in the notch, just barely. And I'll do another one the same way. The front sight's attached to the hole. So, again, I think I'm nine yards away. We'll measure it out. So I basically have an A zone spread at 10 yards. So if I'm at speed running through a course of fire and I see the front sight move under recoil, which is another element of being able to call a shot, but we'll get to that in another video, shot calling. But be advised that any from here to all the way to here and back again, anywhere in that, that uh, area allows that shot that you see down range to occur. So that they, some people call it shooting the notch. Somebody call it a flash shot picture. There's various trainers that use different, various terms. I'm not going to put a term on it. I'm just going to tell you, Look for these elements when you go out shooting. I do these experiments. What will allow you to do to be much more comfortable and not having to look for a perfect sight picture for a target that that's generous in size. We'll work on other elements later on. Hopefully this will help. Shooting the notch, shooting out of the notch, flash sight picture, whatever you want to call it. Another element in the fundamentals of marksmanship. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. We'll catch up with you later. Bye for now.